My prior experience of e-learning was very much um, sat in front of a computer, left alone, minimal instructions. I found this very interesting, very thought-provoking, um, something I could take away with because I had no experience of this prior. So I found that not only did I enjoy it, that I could see the value of it as well. E-learning's changed because now we'll be more active, so it's more active learning. We'll be more creative with what we're asking the students to do. And also we're not just telling them what they need and we're getting them to explore and investigate. The learning is, is put in the student's hands, so the student has to use their research skills and um, their collaborative learning skills to be able to find answers to questions, to inquire rather than, you know, this surface learning, what was happened in the past. Before e-learning was sort of, let's shove it on the virtual environment and let the students have a look at it if they need to. Now it's totally different. Now it's having problems for them to get involved in, different resources to click on and to look at, and then that then generates more thought, more thinking, where they then share that knowledge within the group and the teams. We'd read the first part of it, we'd discuss it in class, um, it would tell us like the bare bones of what had happened, you know, a teacher had been suspended, things like that. Um, this is a scenario that the girls made a complaint. Uh, it was brand new information to me, so it was like, oh, this sounds interesting. I wonder what would happen if that happened to my organisation. It's handing over the classroom responsibility. No longer in my hands. After the project, it was the students want it. They want to be independent. You're giving them the materials and the scenario, and you're giving them what we call a hook. What, what I learned at NetSkills was the hook. Once they've got that, I would say a majority of students were very independent in their learning. Handing over, that was the hard part, but are they capable? And yes, they are. At the start of the project, the team were quite concerned about their perceived lack of IT skills. And they've seen um, technology as being the leading driver in e-learning. However, after the initial stages um, up at NetSkills, uh, we spent a couple of days there and at the end of those three days the team quickly began to realise that actually inquiry based e-learning is all about good teaching and learning and the technology is something that backs that up. I think the training was excellent. I was a bit um, overwhelmed at the beginning with all the different resources, a lot of free resources which I didn't realise were out there, Audacity you know, and things like that. Um, but it was hugely beneficial and it's, it's totally enlightened me with regards to what e-learning is and you know what it wasn't when I was using it. Just to appreciate what they can do and to change my mindset. So I was like, one side, I was thinking, no. And Danny was saying, Brian, you're wrong, you're wrong. And now I know I was totally wrong. Not this wrong, I was off me trolley wrong. As a result of taking part in the project, the aspirations of the project team are so much more than they were at the start. Um, they are working very independently now. They're very ambitious with what they want to do in the future. And they're also taking these ideas back to their teams. So this will have a ripple effect throughout the college.